So here let's take a look at one of most people's favorite exotic metal. We're talking about osmium. Osmium is a precious metal that is extremely rare and extremely dense and is actually the densest of all elements, uh, at least from the ones that are... No, what am I saying at least? It is the densest metal. There is nothing that is heavier for a given volume than pure osmium, period. Iridium comes very close, but osmium edges it out just a little bit. Um, it's uh, beautiful. It, it, it has a bluish color to it that's only really obvious when uh, you, you put it next to something else and it looks strikingly blue. Uh, all on its own, you could probably tell here that it has that bluish cast, but once you look at it, you immediately know, wow, a blue metal. Uh, each one of these beads is made um, by a furnace vacuum, vacuum furnace, I'm sorry, uh, where they are melted and, and a special type of uh, furnace that will uh, get the temperature necessary to uh, get this so high to melt it. Uh, that's very, very high temperature and then it just collapses uh, into a bead as it melts from its powder. This bigger one here is about, uh, this one I think is five grams, uh, and the rest being all one gram beads. We have another type that's called sintered, and it is also osmium of the same purity, but it's a little cheaper because it has a different process. Uh, it's a sponge metal, and basically what they do is they take the powder and rather than run it through that vacuum furnace, what they do is they uh, use what's called a sintering process where they squeeze the bejesus out of it under very hot temperature and it essentially turns into a solid even though at a microscopic level there's a lot of pores in there. But it does make the uh, metal cheaper and you still get that bluish tinge to it. Uh, this is the center type, and it's, I don't know, a few dollars less per gram. But for those on a budget, this is the type that you would be looking at. And uh, each one of these weighs about a gram, so uh, when people want less than a gram, then we simply crush it. And that you can do by hammering on it or working on it in a vise or something similar. But this is how some people prefer to get theirs. Osmium is not dangerous in a solid form. You can hold this in your bare hands. Even though I'm using gloves here, um, that's for not so much safety as in we have many different types of elements and don't want to uh, contaminate anything. So that's why we use gloves. But I would have no problem putting this on my bare hands uh, because it as a solid, there's no issue with it. It's only as a powder that it becomes um, much more of a problem because of uh, the oxide. Osmium tetroxide is deadly and can blind you and do all sorts of nasty things to you. Um, like this, however, there's really nothing to worry about. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and I'll do my best to get back to you. This is Raciel for Luciteria. Thank you.